Hi everyone, this is Alma coming to you from Huntington Beach, California. Today is Friday, August 11th of the year 2023, and this is going to be floss tip number 106. We are um, into week two of Arbitrary August, and um, it's been quite fun. Um, but as always, as always, I do hope you guys are doing well. <laughs> um, I hope you guys are staying safe and sound. Um, everything's good here. We're still in uh, vacation mode, um, trying to squeeze as much out of that as I can. And um, yeah, things are, 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 are also gearing up for the beginning of the semester. Um, I've got my work schedule or part of my work schedule um, for the fall semester. And I, I mean, obviously I do have my class schedule. I've had my class schedule since April, but um, yeah, it's like slowly but surely, you know, um, gearing up towards it. Uh, so yeah, so as mentioned, we are into week two of Arbitrary August. Um, I do have quite a bit to show you because of that. Um, I've been stitching a lot. I've been trying to do at least, you know, one spin a day uh, so that I can do, um, you know, in in theory, I can do all of the, the whips that I have on my wheel. I don't have 31. I think I had maybe 18 or 20 in there. Um, but, you know, once school starts, I know that everything's going to grind to a halt. <laughs> so um, I'm actually getting a little bit ahead now. So today is the 11th. I'm already stitching. I mean, a little bit. Um, I'm already stitching on the the whip that it's tech is technically for tomorrow, for the 12th. So, and I'm like, you know, 200 out of the 500 stitch into it already. So, um now, instead of talking about it, I'll just show you. Let's just get to the stitching, shall we? <laughs> and I do have these in order in which um, they were called by the wheel. Um, the first one up is, I think I may have shown this to you um, on my last video since I had spun the wheel at that point. I just hadn't stitched on this yet. This is Heaven and Earth Designs um, July I hope you guys don't hear that. Um, okay, if it continues, I may just need to redo this. But um, they do that a lot. Anyway, this is uh, another design by Anna Dittman. She's the same one that did my tea, uh, Sherlock Holmes piece. And this one I actually got into a groove <laughs> with it. Um, I ended up doing almost twice the amount of stitches. I did 973 stitches. Um, I did the 500 one day and then just moved on. Um, and then at one point my boyfriend was watching or playing um, his video game and I, I wanted to join him. And this just felt like a good piece to take because of the way that I was stitching this. Um, I stitched all of this basically. Um, I started here at the top and I just grabbed one color and just went with it. I basically just kind of did this little like zigzag thing um, and just working my way down. So here I am trying to work my way up again. I'm going like this um, because all of this does go like towards the edge here. So the plan is to finish th that entire section and then move on to the next color. I think it's like a pale yellow uh, with some white in there. Um, but, you know, the white is not looking so white anymore. <laughs> Which is a major issue that I have with a lot of my pieces is I don't know why the, the, the white just stains yellow almost immediately. Um, so yeah, so um, so that was almost a thousand stitches that I added to her, and um, yeah, the plan is to continue stitching on her. I'll just pop this in here, I guess. This isn't even this color though. I don't know where this color is from. Oh well. I thought it was 23 because it was, I th I'm like, oh, this looks like a pale pink, but oh well. 
Um, so this was the the piece that was called on uh, Saturday, last Saturday, the fifth. Um, again, I think I may have worked on it again on Sunday, or s Sunday or Monday. Um, I'll just figure this out later. Anyway, um, next up was my illustrated manuscript whip. This is uh, a whip that I, I believe I actually started it along with Laurel Ann here in Flosstube. Um, and I believe the designer is Barbara, yeah, Barbara and Richter. Um, this has a companion piece to it. So I think we, we both just started on this, the same piece. We started in different places though. Laurel was a brave, brave soul and she decided to, to start <laughs> over here at the left corner. Um, so she started with the border, the leaves, and um, she's working her way in. I started at the center and I'm doing the scene first. So I'm doing like all that uh, full coverage first. And I don't know if the camera will want to cooperate or not. But it, um, it has the companion piece, and you also have the option of, um, so this is this teeny tiny thing right here, which you can barely see because my camera doesn't like me right now. Um, that's the, comp oh, there we go. That's the companion piece. It's a second woman that's just, you know, lounging. And sh again, it's very hard to see in this one, but she's actually embroidering. She's got... Uh, She's got her needlework with her. And you also have the option of just stitching the seam whoop, by itself. There we go. Um, but uh, what drew me to the piece was the Gregorian chant <laughs> that's stitched over here. Um, so I was like, I'm not doing that. I want the entire thing. So I made sure to, um, like when I was getting fabric for this, I got two, two cuts of the same one. This is backwards. And for this one, I just stuck to 500 stitches, but I did go ahead and set up the next area that I'm going to work on. Um, the 500 stitches consisted of basically finishing up all the blues in the dress. There we go. So I finished all the blues in her dress, and also that also translated to the blues over here in the water. Uh, and then um, some of the greens too, like this entire area right here was all blank. So I stitched that as well, and added the browns alongside the river ed river's edge too. So then when I, since I only had like, you know, maybe like 20 or 30 stitches left to do, I decided to go ahead and prep the next section that I'm going to work on, which I'm just going to go ahead and do the sky. Again, I was trying to find colors that had a lot of stitches to them. And um, the sky only has, I think, maybe two or three colors. So I thought it was a, it would be a good section to to go to. Um, so yeah, so and this 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 did get pretty much like 500 stitches. As soon as I hit it, I was like, okay, I'm done. <laughs> next, <laughs> next up. Um, next, the next piece that was called by the wheel is another one of my hades. This is mini soaring free two. Artwork is by Joan Marie. I'm sure you've seen this. It's it's a fairly popular pattern um, and this one I also stopped at uh, at uh, 500 stitches okay 600 my bad 600 stitches but still I didn't go too far out um, or too far like beyond the 500 um, this is still where we're at. We're still in the same corner. I added the dark orange that you see down here, as well as the the pale pinks. There's two pale pinks in there. 
So one is I'm currently working with eight one nine, which again, pale pink, and I think the other one's nine six three or something like that. Um, that almost fell. I have a pile of my whips over there, and it's <laughs> it's a very dangerous situation over there. Um, but yeah, and this this one is still in you know m dire need of some serious love. Um, one of these days it'll it'll be its turn, I guess. But it is not this day. That goes there. Next up is um, uh, on the eighth, Persephone was called. So this is my Mirabilia piece. Artwork is by Nora Corvid. I'm sure again. You've all seen her designs. They're lovely. I'm working on this. Focus. There we go. I'm working on this alongside Sarah from our Stitching Kingdom. We're both doing a conversion um, for her dress. Instead of doing the teals and the gold trim, I am doing also backwards. I'm doing purples. I'm doing lilacs and purples with a black and gray trim. Uh, we wanted to uh acknowledge the fact that she not only is she the goddess of um the harvest i think uh she's also you know she ends up getting married to the the lord of the underworld so she is queen in my mind of the underworld so i wanted to just go with the darker tones um and i'm stitching this it's actually coming out really well for once <laughs> this photographs it's uh oh, it just it's so hard to photograph this fabric because it comes out more gray it's called whisper it's an even weave a 30 32 count even weave by dreamer bug creations which is um what um sammy j from sammy j stitches uh, has called her daughter's uh, fabric dyeing business, so <laughs> so I saw this cut of fabric and I thought it would be perfect for for Persephone. Um, but this is the edge of her dress, and this goes into like her leg. So again, it's kind of hard to tell because I'm using different colors. But I'm, I pretty much stitched this edge of her dress, and again, I'm going this into this section right here. Um, but this was a bit of a struggle to get into. Um, I, I just, I never physically wrote down what the conversions were. I have a PDF file that I'm following, and I I had to go and look for that. <laughs> but then on top of that, um, Sarah and I were also talking, and Sarah was doing kind of like her own conversion. So I vaguely remember that she wasn't like 100% following the conversion that we found. Um, so it was, it was like this, this constant struggle of like, okay, I have to work on this color, but are we following the conversion or did like Sarah find another color for it? So it just, I, I did not like now that I know at least a few colors, I can go ahead and stitch on them. There we go. But, uh, it, it just, it took me a long time. It took me a long time to get into it. So, so this, this only got the 500 stitches and then I just, I called it. I was like, okay, next. Um, cause it just wasn't a good time and I don't have the bag for this. Okay. I'll have to put that away somewhere. Um, but yeah, I mean, hopefully next time I pick it up, like I again, I will have some some a, a better idea of how to move forward. I lost one of my colors too, and that's what also made it hard, is because the one color that I knew was correct, I lost, so I couldn't stitch on that color. Um. So yeah, so that's why I had to scramble to find another color to stitch on. Um, but hopefully I'll just, you know, I'll go out to the craft store and buy some more. Oh, this one I have to show you on my phone. Because after Persephone, um, it was a call back to my full coverage pieces. 
um, and I had two stitch on T and books, which is somewhere. There we go. This is T and books. Um, artwork is by Bridget Ashwood. And I started this alongside Tess from Tess Stitches. She was kind enough to also gift me the fabric for it. Um, and uh, so I, I, ha I bought the pattern, I think, myself, and she sent over the fabric. Um, and this one, <laughs> I love the design, don't get me wrong, but it was one of those things where we saw the design. You know, because it's, let me show you that again. It's it's really pretty, and and it's got some really nice details. Let me see if I can show you more. Um, so there's like a pile of books, Anna Katarina, a sonnet, Pride and Prejudice, and then this... I don't even know what that, that brown one is supposed to be. But, and then the teacup has a lot of really pretty details. Like, I fell in love with this design. Um, but, you know, if we had waited a little bit, we would have found out that not only did she release a mini version of this, but she also released a uh, version with no background. Which would have saved a lot of stitches but at the same time I feel like it would have been hard to find a fabric that had that same effect going so I kind of just said okay I'll, I'll you know I'll leave it <laughs> I'll accept it um but yeah this is all that to say like this is what I have so far on this I did just stick to the 500 stitches on this as well and I only used one color again. I did the 420, which is the most used, most used color in this. I think I may have played around with the confetti. <sighs> hanging threads. I think I may have played around with the confetti down here a little bit. But then I just, again, I wanted to, I'm trying to maximize <laughs> the number of stitches I do, be more efficient. So I just grabbed one color and went with it. Um... So yeah, and I think that's gonna that's just going to be how I stitch this one. Um, at least until I actually like dedicate myself to it to finish it. At least for the background I should say. Because the background I think is going to be where it's, you're going to find all those colors that I used a lot. And then I can go ahead and worry about the details in the books later. But that was uh, Wednesday's call. Yesterday, um, yesterday, I had to stitch on an oldie but a goodie. Um, I'm also trying to do the categories that Sammy J called for us. Um, Persephone was one of those. Persephone was least amount done because I I added a hundred stitches on her and then I just put it put her to the side. Um, Again, this was Halloween time, so I was just in the middle of the school year. So I wanted to go ahead and start it because we've been planning it for a long time. Um, but then I just put it to the side and then never picked her back up. But um, this one is another one that was um, also one of my categories for uh, Struggle Bus. <laughs> I mean, technically all of these, all of these um, whips are in one you know, one way or another, uh, struggle bus pieces, right? Because I haven't touched them all year. Some of them longer, but um, but I just chose this one because it just it just called to me. This is heartstring. Of course, you know it. You love it. Heartstring samplers consider the lilies. I am doing the GMC conversion on it, but I'm also allowing myself the opportunity to do some de stashing and just get rid of some 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 of the threads that I have because um, there's not much order like the piece does have some symmetry you know um, what's on this side is also on this side so this is because this is where I'm working on right now um, but aside from that like the colors differ 
for a lot of these things. So I was like, okay, well, if it's gonna be like that, then I, I could, as long as it's still cohesive, I can I can do some de-stashing with this. Obviously not for the colors that are used more. Those I will have to follow the the DMC suggestion, but otherwise I am going to go ahead and just do some de-stashing and I I honestly I fell in love with this. Like I was working on this and I was enjoying myself so much. So, um keeping in mind that sampler sem September is a thing. <laughs> You, you're, you're definitely gonna see this again. Um, it got slightly more than a, than 500 stitches because I wasn't necessarily counting it exactly. Um, the flower. So the only thing that I had done that was the other thing is the the other thing I, I the only thing I had done prior to picking this up yesterday. Uh, or yeah, yesterday. Um was this vine right here this vine and that's it no more so the flower pe uh, reverse the flower petals were a hundred stitches and then the center of the flower along with this tree was about a hundred stitches about um it, w it was a little bit more but um then i did this tree along with the, the little vine here that was also just about over a hundred stitches and then the honeycomb um or not honeycomb but honey the hive beehive that was a lot more than 100 stitches but i didn't want to leave the motif just halfway done so i just finished it up it may have been closer to 150. um but yeah um i definitely like just got super inspired to keep working on this so what i'm going to do going back to the whole um de-stashing and and um symmetry thing so what i'm going to do next time i pick it up is to make sure that i at least use the same colors for the same motifs i'm gonna um work my way to the other side so that i can work the same motifs as i go so i'll do all these flowers or some flowers because I still need to figure out some colors. <laughs> um, but I'll do enough so that I, I know that I'm, you know, doing okay on the border. Uh, and then I'll just, you know, make sure that I do the motifs side by side. So I already have these three, these three or two trees, two out of the three. Um, but they also show up over here, right? And same thing with the hive. I've got the hive here. Yeah. So, yeah, you get the idea. Um, so I'll work my way like that. Um, again, I don't want it to be like a hodgepodge of like just random threads that I that I had stashed. Um, <laughs> Because, you know, sometimes, like, I, especially when it comes to kits, like Dimensions kits, I'll finish it up and I'll have maybe, like, you know, f four strands or four lengths of thread, six lengths of thread, and I'll be like, I can use this for something. I'm not sure what, but I can use this for something. <laughs> so I've got an entire box full of, of you know, miscellaneous threads. Um, but hey. Now I can at least use those up. Um, and this is gonna go inside here as well. Um, so yeah, and I do, I, I at least do have the color for the vine um, so that I can follow along the border. So that's next one. And then what technically would have been today's call um, and again, kind of stitching ahead at this point because I'm going so fast. Um, it's another one of the pieces that I'm using for our categories. Um, this one is for newest start, which again, technically I've started a few more um, after this, but they've already got their 500 stitches for the year. So this one is Best Memories. I started this on March 
fifth, I think. Um, I started this shortly after moving here to Huntington Beach. Um, and I also started my see you at the beach part pattern at that point. Um, yeah, I was very much into the theme at that point. And this one is uh, another one. This could have also been a struggle bus, bus piece, to be honest, because again, I did 100 stitches on this and I didn't pick it back up. Um, but this is what I have so far. So the only thing that this had done was like a little bit of the white and then a little bit of the light blue that's blended. That's the other thing is, um, this is, I believe the designer is Ukrainian. So it has a lot of blends, a lot of details, right? Um, and I got, I got tired. So for the starfish, there were like two blended colors and then two solids. I just went with one blended color i went with one blended one blended color and the two solid colors because i'm like you don't need that much detail you can't even tell the difference with the jar i was kind of i had already started so i was you know it was kind of too late to go back at that point but it, it's the same thing so you've got the white and then the next color is like white blended with i think it's 747 it's like a super light blue and then you have the 7 747 by itself and you yeah it's just a lot of blends so this one got 500 stitches and then i was done i was like okay next <laughs> again it it took me a little and, and i'm also trying to de-stash with this as well um, it's a small, small enough piece, um, where I felt like I could go ahead and do it, but then that ended up being an issue because I was trying to find the tones that would match the, the starfish at least. So, we'll see. We'll see if and when I get a little bit more inspired to work on this again. And then, um tomorrow's piece <laughs> tomorrow's saturday um it's another one that i have to show you here um this one i think i started back in 20 2019 it's a bit of, it's one of my older pieces um this is Let's Go for a Swim by Jeremiah Kettner from Heaven and Earth Designs. Um, I blame Jessie Marie. Jessie Marie does stuff for it. Um, she finished her Kettner piece and it was absolutely gorgeous. And I fell in love with the, with the style of the designer. So I was like, let me see what else he's got. <laughs> so this is what I have so far. This one had 300 stitches in it before I picked it up. I are, I'm already at 200 out of the 500 that I need for this. Um, but this one had some hanging threads because this one was one of the few where I tried doing the column by column parky method and um, I just didn't care for it. So the 200 stitches were mostly me just getting rid of, of there were like four or five hanging threads it wasn't too much but yeah now i can just again just grab one color and go for the remainder 300 stitches uh so yeah so that's all i have to show you for today um quite a bit i think it was like eight pieces <laughs> that i had to show you um so yeah, so I'm thoroughly enjoying all of this this arbitrary August stuff. I, l I love seeing what other people are doing for for the month, um, and it's always fun. You know, it's always fun to see what the wheel's going to pick. Um, obviously, there's been some that I just have to power through and do. You know, just make sure that I tick off that that box, and then that's it. Moving on to the next. But then obviously, there's others that I have called called me to do more work on them or at least return to them you will definitely be seeing more consider the lilies because i am now like on a mission <laughs> with that piece so 
definitely coming back for sampler september and but you know i always say stuff like that and you know school always have priority um but yeah as always if you have any questions about any any um any of the patterns that you saw today feel free to drop a comment i do always try to list them if they're still available and even even if they're not you know i just i have a word document where i keep all the links so occasionally i will get somebody says hey i tried the link and it doesn't it doesn't work or you know the etsy shop doesn't exist anymore or whatever um so i don't check them too often but i try to check them at least before i do the the whip parades um so yeah as always i hope you guys have a relaxing weekend a productive week and you always find the time to do the thing that makes you happy until next time ciao